Hi, I'm Sonya and Chill Doing Press. So this is a collective reading. Terror reading. So don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen. No, it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take resonates to leave a risk for someone else. No, it can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. Please be careful of scammers. I will not reach out to you for a page reading. You have to reach out to me first through my Facebook or my website. Please chat to me on there, anywhere. Uh, so the cards that I use are Mystic Dream of Terror by Heidi Dress and Barbara Moore and Right Awake Terror by Pamela Coleman-Smith. This is like the reading for Aquarius. Welcome Aquarius. So it looks like at the moment you're very strong. There is something hidden. Oh, looks this is interesting. There's Leo energy here, so this is strength. So you're very strong here. You're at a crossroads. You need to make a decision. You got it up. Uh, you're at a crossroads. You got the one in your hand and the world. So you're really deciding to manifest something new here. Something is hidden. Um, this is Pisces energy. So someone is very strong. And there's also something hidden. So maybe it's around this person who is very beautiful. This is somebody that is very good looking. They have a beautiful energy. Someone that is shining. This is someone that's intuitive. They could be fire sign energy. But they can actually be someone that is very abundant, very exuberant. And actually someone that's very good looking. And someone that's got a really good manifesting energy. So there's somebody here that's very strong. And maybe it's that you have hidden feelings? Strength. So you feel you feel that they're like very strong person and you admire this person. So you want so the challenge here, or something good, is that this is Hmm. So this is actually like the challenge or something good, which is Ten of Pentacles. This is like generational wealth. So this is actually like a challenge. Somebody here has... So this is generational wealth. So like, but there's someone here, there's a wounded warrior that's a toxic person. Maybe this is actually being trapped in a situation somewhere. Keep going back to a situation. Maybe this person who's this fire sign keep going back to something that was toxic and actually was keeping them stuck. So you've kind of like got maybe some sort of addiction that's keeping you stuck and wounded. Um, so it's kind of like kind of keep you in your head and someone feels like they're out in the cold. So someone's out in the cold here and it's kind of got you going over in your head and feeling wounded. Um, that you would really like this new cycle to begin and to just build this generational wealth. So there's some sort of obsession here, something about being out in the cold and feeling abandoned. So you're focusing on your work and just feeling quite wounded and quite sad and got some sort of obsessions or addictions. Maybe you're getting obsessive about something when you actually wanted to start a new cycle. So in the distant past, you've had you've been stuck. You had the blindfold on, and you needed to make a decision and move forward. Look at that. So this is you with the blindfold on. You've actually been stuck here in this past situation. You've been wounded, so you've had something you've been holding on to, which has kept you wounded and stuck. So this has come out again, even though I put it in the deck. So there's been a bit of a shocking um, ending. There's been some sort of shocking situation you've dealt with in the distant past, which is actually shaking your world up. But it looks like you've also got some sort of passionate new beginning and feeling joyful and happy. Maybe you're feeling more happy lately. Joy of a child. This is Leo energy. So there's this tower falling from the past, which was a shock, shocking event that happened that's kept you wounded. And it's been a sudden ending, maybe. But now you're feeling quite passionate about some new beginning. So you had a new job as well that you've started recently. 
new pathway, you've gone down, new business, ace of pentacles, what is this? Oh god, I see, ah, ah. so this is the recent past, you have started this job, it's been a, there's been a burden you've been carrying, no. So you've you've been bearing there's some sort of burden. Maybe that this empress has left you out in the cold and rejected you or kind of like abandoned you, and it's kind of it's been like a burden. I'm gonna pick up this card because I don't know what it is. Hang on. So you're wanting to move forward, but it's like this one fell on the floor. So it's like you're wanting to move forward, but then something keeps stopping you. Maybe it's the burden you're carrying. And maybe it's that you're feeling, you know, like you need to sort out your finances or like you kind of feel like you're not good enough or something and you'd feel like you're not financially good enough. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone that is grounded and methodical, someone that is grounded and father energy, something is keeping you stuck and keeping you in a low lack mindset. And you feel like you've been abandoned and that you're carrying a heavy burden and you're wanting to move forward and something that keeps you pulling you back you really feel like you need to be financially stable looks like you feel really like a lot of feelings towards this person this person could be a Taurus or Libra someone loving and caring someone that you see as abundant that someone that can give birth to new ideas could be the mother of a child Two of pinched two of wands. So you're at a crossroads. Two of wands. Oh, looks like you're carrying a lot of burdens. So your thoughts are that you're at a crossroads. You really wanted to move forward, but you keep focusing on the disappointment, focusing on the lack. You're always feeling quite sad, maybe. Feeling, you know, your thoughts are kind of like focusing on the disappointments. You're carrying a lot of burden. That's come out again, and it's a painful ending. You've had some sort of ending, which you keep going back to, and you keep yourself stuck. 10-10, ten, ten, so it's completions. So you're at a crossroads now. You feel like you've missed an opportunity, and that someone's rejected your cup, or that you've missed, or that you feel like you've actually had your, you know, your love in the past, and like, so you're focusing on the cup that you've lost all the time. And so you've got this passion in the new beginning, but you keep on focusing on the lack and you keep on focusing on what's not worked. And so these are both cards about lack thinking, lack mindset and focusing on the disappointments. So you need to put down the burden. There's some sort of burdens that you're carrying, which is keeping you stuck. And it's a painful ending you've had recently that you keep thinking about the judgment. So judgment can also be about reunion. Judgment, please. Oh. The same cards always come out. So judgment. So you're really wanting to start a new cycle here, but you're really wanting to have a reunion maybe with somebody. Somebody that's rejected your cup that you're feeling quite sad about. You're feeling like you've missed an opportunity. You're kind of stuck in your, uh, stuck in your head. It's a self-imposed prison. Take off the blindfold. Cut yourself free. Because you're actually keeping yourself stuck in the situation. So you keep going over and over. Like I said, you're ruminating thoughts. Your thoughts are kind of going repetitive. You keep getting stuck in a cycle. You keep thinking about something. And it's a new cycle that's trying to start. But you keep getting going over and over in your head about the situation. Maybe about a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That you've... Uh, feeling a bit of emotion about so this person's under the deck here so you're feeling like you want to have a new cycle but you're stuck in the past still so you have to try and make a decision about moving forward page of cups page of wands oh look at these so this is your your fears so at the moment you're fearing You've got fears about someone, you know, offering a... you you kind of got fears about offering something. You would like to come forward and offer something, like a little friendship or something, but you feel a little bit of fear about it. So you want to come forward and offer something because you feel a bit of passion. You want a passion at the new beginning, but you have fears about coming forward. 
about giving with your with your cups enough or whatever, but you're staying stuck, so you're really needing to make a decision. Take off the blindfold and make a decision, because we've had this card already, I'm sure. And so you're really focused on your work and you're actually charging forward. You be careful of impulsive action, so you know it's good that you're focusing on your work and that and you're doing very well in your work and you're feeling like quite passionate about moving forward and just don't be impulsive as well though just think things through make some decisions about moving forward and do it methodically and with actual thought rather than impulsively four of swords so you other people see you as healing having time out to heal other people see you as going within and healing, having time out to heal, having time to reflect, and it looks like there's a new, new, new pathway. This is spirit blessing you with some sort of um, financial stability. This is happiness and joy of a child as well. Leo energy. This is actually methodically moving forward. So other people see you as moving forward, coming forward methodically. Someone wants to maybe offer something. Uh, it could be. Maybe that you this person is coming forward. You could be this person coming in slowly, where you're wanting to offer something to work with somebody together. And this is happiness and joy, Leo energy, joy and happiness is shining. So you're hoping for justice. So you're hoping that something scales balance justice. Yep. Justice. So you're hoping for justice to be served. It could be that there's a court situation or it could be that you're dealing with a Libra. So you're wanting to come forward towards this person very quickly. You're hoping that there's some sort of movement forward with this person. Balancing the scales and actually move, balancing things out. Things are coming smooth now and you've got a lot of passion towards this person, which is a Libra probably. You're wanting to rush towards them and offer some sort of passionate new beginning. Maybe looks like you're wanting to balance things out with them. You're wanting to have some sort of balance. Six of Cups, you got a soulmate. But you're stuck. Six of Cups, Karmic. Yes, look at this. Okay. So this is the outcome here. It's a soulmate energy, lovely, beautiful soulmate. Someone that you think that would be beautiful mother. You're feeling quite wounded. You're feeling like you're out in the cold. So you're feeling like your soulmate left you out in the cold. This is actually you feeling really trapped and bound. This is actually like two cards of being imprisoned. And so you feel like you're being stuck in a self-imposed prison. You're kind of like wounded. And you're feeling quite a lack mindset. So you're thinking that your soulmate has left you in the cold. And so this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe that they've got a very strong boundary. So this could be you because this is a Gemini, uh, um, Aquarius. So you need to kind of, um, looks like you've sort of been waiting a long time. So you're feeling like this person who's your soulmate has left you out in the cold. And you've got strong boundaries and that they're a little bit inconsistent so i'll just get in a couple of cards just to confirm what we need to know because this is very uh, you gotta be careful what you're thinking because at the moment you've got a very lack mindset what do we need to know for aquarius please lack mindset oh god got a lot of options so you've got new love coming towards you you got new love coming towards you. You need to fill your own cup. Love yourself. Do a lot of things to love yourself. You've got a lot of options. So you need to be careful what you're kind of uh, wishing for. You need to really be sure what's in these cups as well. So just focus on your work. It looks like you've been getting promotions. There's like some sort of raise or like a promotion. And you have new love coming towards you. you got good um, money coming in. And like it's new love as well. So it's good outcome after these negative um like lack mindset kind of cards so be careful what you're thinking there's a soulmate coming towards you obviously that is your happily ever after so very happy for you bye